Hi there! Welcome back to my golden thimble. I'm Daphne and today I'm going to show you how to sew an overcasting stitch with your sewing machine by using the overcasting presser foot. In fact, you probably already have this presser foot within your sewing machine attachments. But just in case you don't, don't worry because I'm going to tell you all the details about how to get this presser foot in the description of this video. By the end of this video, you are going to learn that you don't need a circuit to achieve a professional finish that is going to prevent your fabric edges from frying or unraveling. But that's not all, because I'm also going to teach you three other additional applications you can use for your sewing projects by using the same stitch and the same presser foot. But before we get into the tutorial, please remember to subscribe and share this video. That way, I will be able to get to more people like you and keep making these tutorials for free. So if you're ready, let's do this. Let's talk about the overcasting presser foot. This foot has an opening that allows a needle to move from side to side in a zigzag motion and a bar in the center that helps form the stitches while holding the fabric flat under it. Also, one of the foot legs has an extension that helps guiding the fabric edge straight. Here you can see other types of overcasting presser feet. The one on the right has a flatter and wider bar in the middle, holding the fabric flat better, which is especially useful for lightweight fabrics like organza or satin, and the one on the left has a taller bar allowing more thread for specialty overcasting stitches. But basically, all of these work in the same way. Let's get started with the step-by-step -step instructions. First, we need to attach the overcasting presser foot. Simply snap off your current presser foot and snap on the overcasting presser foot. You will hit a click that tells you it's in place. Easy pieces so far. Now, let's position the fabric. Place it under the presser foot and align the raw edge with the foot's guide. Take a moment to line up everything nicely. Next, we need to select the overcast stitch on your sewing machine. It looks like a zigzag with a straight stitch or a ladder. There are different types of overcasting stitches you can choose from depending on your fabric's type. If you're unsure of which one to choose, check this list or your machine's manual for more information. And now for the fun part, start sewing your overcasting stitch along the edge of your fabric. If you want, you can make a few test stitches to make sure everything is working correctly. But don't worry, because the overcasting foot will keep everything in place, making sure you get a clean and professional looking result. Look at that! Beautiful finished edges just like that. But wait, don't go just yet, there's more! With the same foot and overcasting stitches, you can create other fantastic finishes to make your projects extra special. For example, you can create a mock-up of the rolled hem by shortening the stitch length and playing with the width settings. This will create an effect very similar to a serger's rolled hem, and you can customize it by testing different settings on your machine. At the start, I used a wider stitch, then I reduced it at the end so you could see the difference between the both of them. Another amazing thing you can do is join two pieces of fabric together while finishing the raw edges at the same time. To do this, simply align both layers and start sewing your chosen overcast stitch. Isn't it awesome? This is really a time saver, and the best thing is that it also works with knit fabrics keeping the stretch of it. The final one, and one of my personal favorites, is the fringe stitch. To make this one, shorten the length and raise the width of your stitches, and sew a straight line over your flat fabric. At the end, you need to use a pair of embroidery scissors to cut the right size of the stitches, just like I'm doing here. You will end up with this fantastic finish on your fabric. Now. Just for you to see a comparison between the overcasting presser feet, I'm going to make a second fringe with the foot that has a taller bar. As you can see here, the second fringe looks way fuller because it has more thread thanks to the bar. Now, I want to know what you think about this new technique and how did you do? So make sure to leave me your comments or questions in the section below. Also, remember to like, share and follow so I can keep making amazing tutorials like this for you. 